Good morning, my lovelies. I am shattered. <laughs> I think I look it as well. So, I've had Paul's family over yesterday. There's 10 of us. Um, it was hard work, but very in enjoyable. It just felt like another Christmas, really. Because obviously all the decorations are up and I did a big roast dinner. So it, it felt like Christmas. We had a lovely time. I, I tidied up last night. I've washed everything up. I, I'm just doing some laundry today because I haven't done laundry before Christmas. But I feel a bit tired. I, I haven't been sleeping very well. Well, I go to sleep okay, but um, I fall asleep late and I the last few days one day i woke up like half past five in the morning and i was wide awake so i don't know if it's all the stress and excitement with christmas but yeah i feel i feel a bit i don't know like my eyes are swollen or something hair looks terrible but i am going just two more days and i'm going to have my hair done so today i said it didn't i it's new year's eve but we are not doing anything. In fact, I can't remember last time that we went to a party or anything to celebrate New Year's Eve. Quite happy sitting at home, <laughs> watching the fireworks at home on the TV from different countries. I love that. Oh, someone asked me about my orchid. Let me show you this. Let me tell you the story first. So, I moved this orchid from here, from the table. It's to sit here on the table because, you know, I've got that nice rustic vase with twigs in here. And I put it somewhere else and I forgot about it. And then I looked one day and the leaves were really, really soft. It didn't look well at all. Um, before that, I cut off all the stems because they look, they've gone like dry and wooden. Anyway... I picked it up, watered it, brought it back here and look at it, it's gone crazy. So, first of all, it's got loads of new air roots and when I've watered it, the leaves gone stiff again, but they have like a lighter color on the edge now. I don't know if this is because I let it dry so bad. But look at the new stem and it's got buds on it already. So it's gonna flower soon. I am so chuffed because honestly, I thought that I've killed it like everything else uh, because I haven't watered it. I know the orchids don't need that much watering, but I haven't watered it like for weeks and weeks. So it's looking very healthy and I've got so many flower buds on it. But I've got only one stem. Last time when, you know, when my friend first bought it, it had two stems. But I can not see another one growing. Um, yes, but it looks really, really good. Can you see it? Anyway, I'm going to go finish my laundry. I'm not putting Christmas um, decorations away this weekend I'm going to do it next weekend and then back to normal good morning my lovelies it's New Year's Day today I have quite a lot of jobs to do we didn't go anywhere <laughs> last night but we stayed up um, I actually managed to stay up till almost two in the morning so we were watching obviously the fireworks and then um, What's his name? Not Shaky Stevens. Never gonna give you up. Oh my God, what is his name? You know who I mean. Um, was singing and I actually got up and I was dancing. <laughs> dancing around the living room. I was so out of breath. <laughs> and I think because of that dancing, I really woke myself up. We had some champagne. Uh, it really woke me up that then I couldn't get to sleep for ages. But today I have few jobs to do. I have to wash some brushes. I haven't washed brushes in ages. I just wash them, you know, in warm water with... I've got actually the Rifa soap. 
you know Rifa where I get the Rifa brushes and uh, they sell little brush soap as well in like a met is it in metal tin I actually can't remember if it comes in a tin or just in a box but I've put it in a little tin I can't remember um, and I use something you know scratchy like this this is the Sigma switch you know where you can clean off your dry brushes but you can also use this to clean your brushes any one of those silicone snobbly things so I have to do that then I have to uh, take my new calendar which I always hang on my fridge where I put you know info like people's birthdays and if you are going somewhere so I need to transfer all the birthdays onto the new calendar and also Louis groomer appointments because I book his appointments for the whole year every four or five weeks so if we're planning holidays or something like that we can plan around it and then uh, Paul went to Costco between Christmas and New Year and he bought big slab of uh, minced beef so I'm going to make a batch of cottage pie and I will freeze it in portions so that's what I have to do today. Hang on, I'm going to go and make myself a cup of coffee because I want to chat to you for a bit about things. Okay, I've got my coffee. So, I wanted to talk to you about sagging. <laughs> what a horrible word. I think sagging, crutch and moist are like the worst words in English language. <laughs> absolutely hate it but I think you know like I've told you like I haven't had Botox done for ages for almost two years I think I haven't had any fillers for four years three years and I always say wrinkles don't bother me that much but I think is the sagging so this morning, well, not just this morning, almost every morning while I'm getting ready, putting makeup on, I examine my face like the self-deprecating person that I am and look for every imperfection and flaw. But this is getting really bad. So, you know, my under eye area is like the one that I hate the most. And I've noticed that it's not now the oedema that I was getting, but I've noticed that it's the skin that is sagging. I don't know if you can see when I put my head down, especially when I lift my eyebrows, that's when it gets the worst. I lift my eyebrows and if I put my head down, this skin here, hang on, let me do the mirror. Can you see? Oh my god, I'm looking in the magnifying mirror, it looks even worse. It's almost like a hanging bag, really, really um, loose skin that I can like move it and it will just stay there. And there is not much you can do about it. Yes, you could fill it with fillers, but I don't want to do that. I think fillers work on younger people because your skin gets less elastic and is sagging more and I suppose the weight of the filler maybe makes it stretch even more and then as you get in older and your skin is sagging more and more you have to pump it with more filler to fill it in so I, do, I think the only thing you can do with that is have surgery you know the lower eye surgery maybe this year I have my eyes done I have my hoods done and maybe this underneath but this looks so bad and like probably here it doesn't look bad because I'm right in front of the window so the light is coming straight on my face lighting is so important but in some lights you know when you catch yourself I don't know in a toilet in a restaurant or in someone's house in a mirror and certain lights really, really emphasize it. And this skin is so crepey as well. So when you make up that sits on it, it just looks disgusting. So this is getting me down a bit. But it's not just the face. 
you know, that's how jowls happen. It's all the gravity and sagging. It's not just the face. I was um, standing in my bathroom just in my bra and I was like, what is this? You know here where your bra strap is? Like lumps hanging over it. And you know, I am probably the slimmest that I've been in 10 years. I'm not skinny by any means, but I'm the slimmest that I have been. But I've got bigger, saggy lumps that poking out my bra than ever before. And again, I think this is not fat, it's just that, you know, not very tight, young skin. So, I, I, what is the next thing to sag? Is it the knees? <laughs> Honestly. So... Everything is sagging and I hate this the most. I, I don't think wrinkles and fine lines are that bad. I think they are quite, can be quite cute and add character, but the sagging, it's, the sagging is not very nice. Okay, so what I wanted to ask, I know whenever I talk about my hooded eyes, a lot of you say that you've had your upper lid surgery and you are so happy and i've seen some youtubers they've had it done and it looks perfect but have any of you had the lower left done you know when they cut right here and pull that skin up because we have some sort of hammock here that keeps sagging and all the fat parts slide down and I think they can pull them up, something like that. So if any of you had the lower left done, let me know um, how was it because I know this is really easy, you don't even have to go under general anaesthetic, it's just like an in and out thing but I think this is a bit more complicated so but I'm seriously thinking of having it done. I need to back on my hair a bit um, it's very flat because of the roots um, what's I gonna say oh today I am wearing the Derma Blend Flawless Creator mine is in N40 or 40N I haven't used it for a while actually but when I was doing and my 2023 favorites and I had to look and pull out all the foundations I thought oh I haven't used that for a while and I really love it on my eyes I have Natasha Denona the glam palette and I've used just these three here this one this one and this one and what do I have on my lips? Lips are just very delicate. Of course, NYX Los Angeles. And the lipstick, I don't think they do these lipsticks anymore. This is the old L'Oreal because it's more like a balm. 642. Oh, it's hashtag MLBB or something like that. It's really nice. It's like a light beige that feels like balm right my lovelies i would love to sit and talk to you all day but i have to go and do my jobs good morning my lovelies so i am just going to the hairdresser can't wait looks such a mess but I, I need to maybe when i leave make another appointment because I usually leave it to the last minute and then you can't get the appointment when you want to. Um, I think I've left it 10 weeks, almost 10 weeks, which is definitely too long. My hair seems to be growing really fast. I don't, my hair has always grown fast, but I wonder if it's growing faster because I've been taking biotin uh, for a while now. So maybe maybe that's what it is oh my goodness so uh, Paul injured himself in a gym yesterday he just he lifts quite heavy weights and right at the end he didn't have a very good form which means the position in which he was when he was lifting and he had his lower back and he walks like a old 
granddad now um, it's really difficult for him so I was a bit apprehensive to leave him I mean he can walk but he has to be very careful sitting down getting up um, and he's do you know what he's upset about the most we have in our new TV delivered today so he's upset the mouse that he won't be able to lift it and put it up so he has to wait for me if he comes when i'm away i i'm sure that he will try i hope he doesn't because he will just make it worse it was funny so what happened we've had this tv for years and years um and you know you get used to it you look at it every day and your eyesight is not as good and max always used to say oh my god your tv is terrible the colors are all wrong he said you should get another tv with like nothing wrong with the tv so when we had the family round um just last weekend max started saying that again and they it was a pylon they all started saying it and we had a, such a laugh um, there was an advert of a pizza or something um, and they say, oh my God, look, the pizza is so green. I wouldn't eat that pizza. <laughs> so we were all laughing and Paul was like, right, I'm getting a new telly. So he ordered a new TV, but it's coming today and he is injured. So he will have to go for some treatments, I think. It's so important. That's why I think when you start working out in a gym, it's very good for like two to three sessions have a personal trainer because you need to know the form you need to know your position and how to lift weights because it's so is easy to injure yourself i mean he knows it all but he said he was just at the end and he was a bit tired and the last pull he just twisted and that's what happened so okay i'll see you later hello my hair is done very very blonde and very flat but i'm going to the gym tomorrow so it doesn't matter so soon it's gonna start looking a bit stripy as i'm growing out all the dark so when she just does the regrowth in blonde the dark will be growing out anyway very happy fed up now I've been there I tell you how long I've been there I started at 10 30 11 30 12 30 four hours exactly four hours it takes okay I'm going home now hello my lovelies I've been filming so Whenever I film, I always vlog a bit because I think I've got all my camera set up, am I as well? So today is a very exciting day. It's my Max's 24th birthday. I cannot believe it. Time goes so quick. My little baby boy is going to be 24. So uh, we are taking him and his girlfriend um, tonight to a steakhouse. That's Max's favorite food. Nice steak. So I'm looking forward to that, it would be really lovely. But I also wanted to show you something. Delilah have sent me a couple of newish stuff. And you know, I love Delilah, you know my Holy Grail foundation is the Alibi foundation from Delilah. Um, I also use the eyebrow pencil, I love the lipsticks. Uh, what else do I use from them? I have loads of stuff from them. Um, but they have sent me the shadow stick set, stay the day, because I already have stay the night. So I've had this for a while. Um, I won't be talking about them too much because that's what I did today on my eye. So this video, you will see it on Wednesday. I've done this look with the shadow stick. So I talk more in detail about them in there. They also sent me this new product which is called Wake Up Radiant Skin Skin Tint. I think they come, hang on, I've written it down. This is for all skin types. It gives you like a sheer, dewy, 
sun-kissed hint of colour. So I suppose this is along the lines of um, the Hollywood filter from Charlotte Tilbury. Then you have one, I think, from Huda Beauty. You know those lovely... They are not foundations, they are not tinted moisturisers. It's just a slight tint that gives you very luminous, slightly sun-kissed skin. Well, it depends what colour you are. So, um, you can obviously use it on its own or you can mix it with your foundation or you can just put it on high, high points on your face. Um, Delilah, they are... They are cruelty free and they are powered by plants so you always get like skin loving ingredients and they are always paraben free. So for example in this one you have hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, squalene and radish root ferment which is natural peptide with antimicrobial properties and also mango leaf extract. So they do them in four colors Opal, which is the lightest, is for fair skin. Amber, it's a peachy bronze tone, so if your undertone is more peachy, you would go for that one. Then bronze is for olive undertones, and solar, really bronzy warm undertone. They've sent me couple, so they've sent me solar, which is the darkest, and bronze. Well, they are definitely too dark for me. I should have opal for this time of year. But let me swatch them for you. So this is bronze, the one with olive undertones. Beautiful tube with a pump, which is good. I much more prefer pump than squeezable tube. So this is quite... But you know what? It actually isn't. Once you rub it in, it becomes... Because it's a tint, yeah, it's just a tint. Oh. This is definitely my colour because it's not too orange, it is more olive. Oh, it looks gorgeous. I might try to mix it with my foundation one day. I haven't tried them yet and solar is the darker one. So I probably will be able to use it in a summer, the dark one. So. That's the solar. Yeah, it is much warmer. Much warmer bronze. Can you see? Um, in the camera it looks a bit more orange than it is. But yeah, I definitely prefer the bronze, the olive tone. But if you've got warm skin, um, then yeah, you can go for the solar. And then they sent me In Bloom Radiant liquid blush and I have two colors sweet pea which is a cooler shade so if you have maybe a bit lighter complexion you should go for sweet pea and peony is better for warmer skin tones I don't care I feel like I can use them both so this is peony and this is sweet pea hang on I swatch them both I love the sweet pea. I've already used it. It's a definitely cooler pink. So this is the peony and this is sweet pea. Let me just So can you see sweet pea is definitely that bright pinch me colour and then this is peony. And how I apply this, I take very tiny bit. Oh, why did I wipe it off? Let me take this sweet pea. I apply tiny bit on my hand and I put like two fingers in it. And I just... I already have a blush on, but I hope you can see it's quite luminous. It's not um, like shimmery or anything, but it's nice and luminous. You know, I don't, I'm not really into cream blushes, but now and again, I like it because it gives you that more fresher look. You know, powder, 
powder always looks a bit more drying and so this and I like it because the tube's got such a tiny nozzle you don't squeeze too much you don't use too much and you don't waste too much because like I like the Charlotte Tilbury ones with the sponges again usually if I go straight onto my face I apply too much if I go on my hand I waste a lot because much more product comes out really really pretty and um, they are very long lasting uh, they are not oily, they are water based so they are not going to look greasy you know some cream blushes can look quite greasy and, and they seem to just sit on the top of your skin like never set and then the brand new product, I love this, it's called Lip Saviour it's a lip oil but what it does, it gives you unique personalized color which means it reacts with your skin pH so everybody will get like this staining but it will be different um, it is non-sticky very moisturizing it's got the best thing about it is the applicator it's not a brush it's not a doll food it's a they call it what do they call it cooling and soothing gold zamak applicator oh it's so beautiful look at this So you see, this is not the color of the oil, this is the color of the applicator. It's very cool, it's like a metal. So, it goes on see-through. Let me just do my bottom lip so you can see how it will bring up, like enhance your natural lip color. I really want to put my lips together. Can you see? it's? already getting darker but it doesn't get well obviously everybody will have different color because again it depends on your skin pH what does it have in it um, argan jojoba and ricinus seed oil and this is 100% recyclable I think most of the all of the products are recyclable and all the packaging can you see? This is very cool in the actual applicator. Lovely, lovely, not too thick, it's not sticky, it's just very creamy. I tell you what happened with the shadow sticks. So I've had these for a while, but you know I always say, oh I don't really like cream eyeshadows blah blah but the other day I did a look with it and I loved it and I thought my god this is so easy and so quick um, and then the other ones arrived so I thought let me show you how quick and easy it is so that's what you will see on Wednesday hmm, I like my cheeks like I've been pinched okay my lovelies I think I'm going to finish this vlog, vlog here uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.